I'm gonna be rescuing this little five day old newborn animal. This baby is so little, guys. It is completely covered in mange. This is the moment you all have been waiting for. What up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day so far guys. So in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be rescuing this little five day old newborn animal. Now guys, if you are subscribed to my channel, you all will know that I always am receiving little baby newborn animals, guys. I have like, I can't even explain how many little baby animals that I have nursed back to health. But guys, I have never actually nursed this little baby that i'm rescuing today now i am not going to reveal what it is just yet so you're just gonna have to stay tuned to find out what i will be rescuing today guys but i'm just gonna tell you this little baby's backstory so i was going through my instagram last night and saw that i received a dm from this super super nice lady who her two kids watch my channel so guys if you are watching shout out to you guys you know i love that you are subscribed to the channel just keep on watching guys but she was telling me that she works at this slaughterhouse now there are several different slaughterhouses for all different types of animals and she told me that there was the little five-day-old baby that wasn't drinking the mom's milk properly was not doing well and is malnourished guys so she decided to take it home and she has no idea what to do with it because if she did not take it home they were gonna euthanize this baby. So she reached out to me and knows my love and passion for animals and knows that I rescue all the time. So I am going to head to her house to pick up this little baby, guys. I am so excited to show you what this little baby is. I am, I don't know the state of this baby. Hopefully, you know, this baby does make it, but I am just gonna catch you all once I get there. Oh. Guys, this baby is so little, guys. I want to show you, but I am going to hold off until a little later, guys. This baby is covered in dirt, is covered in mange. It is so beautiful, guys. You will see the outside. I have it in a little towel right now. It is, it is just so sad, guys. So I'm going to run to the pet store right now and get the necessities, guys. So, um... So yeah. So guys, I have made it to PetSmart and the little baby is right here now. Guys, you can see that we have just arrived and I'm gonna have to go run inside and get everything I need, guys. I need milk for this little baby. I need this special mange spray, guys. Once I reveal this baby, which I'm not going to do quite yet, you are gonna see that it is infested with mange guys i feel so bad for this baby guys i'm also going to need some bottles and anything else it needs so i'll catch you all once i have everything one eternity later so guys we made it back to my house and i had the little baby sleeping in the room next to us so i got the milk for the little baby i got the mange cream to treat its really really bad mange i have a little cup right here to put the milk in and store it in in the fridge i have a baby soap right here which is going to be perfect for washing this little baby and of course a bottle so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to make it some nice milk because i don't know when the last time this little baby ate now that i got the water heated up right here we're going to let that cool down and we are just going to open the formula right here i already opened it guys and i'm just going to open this like this get the little scooper in here and you always wanna do one part powder to two part water. So if you're trying to make only one, you're gonna do one part powder, and then you're gonna come right over here and put two scoops of water. Now usually they will have a little scooper in the package of milk that you buy. So it is perfect when you want to measure the milk out and the last scoop right here. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just gonna shake it off just like that. Put it right here and move it to the side. Now I'm just gonna close the lid and shake it up. Hopefully it's not too hot. Okay, guys. Uh-oh. I don't want it to explode on me, guys. Uh-oh. Guys, I think it's gonna explode. All right, guys, now that we have completely mixed up the formula, we are just gonna set it right here. Now what you're gonna wanna do is this comes to the part where you have to weigh 
and figure out how much to feed your little baby. Now what I usually do is I weigh the little baby and according to their weight, I do 5% of their body weight. But right here, I'm just gonna show you right here, but I'm gonna cover it up because it actually shows what animal is right here. So this little baby is about five days old. So right here it says day two to seven, you are gonna wanna feed this baby two to four ounces. Now, since we have this little chart to go by, I'm just gonna pour three ounces in here and you can see that we have the little measuring on the side, so it's gotta be perfect. And all I'm gonna do is completely just measure it up to about three. All right, guys, so that is absolutely Perfect. Now, while this cools down, I'm going to go get the little room set up. I'm going to put blankets, heating pads for this little baby to have a nice little feeding area. All right, guys, before I introduce this little baby, I have to set its area up. So I have the essentials. I have a heated blanket. Now, this stays on 24-7, and you can turn it from high, medium, and low. Right now, we have it on high because since this baby is really, really young, we want it to stay extra cozy and warm. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna spread this blanket out just like this. And since you can't put it in the washer and dryer, I would highly recommend putting a thin little blanket over it so the heat can penetrate through a lot. So now that we have that all set up, guys, that is going to be perfect. I have a little stuffed animal to replicate the mom and I'm gonna put it right here and just put the fence around right here. And there you have it. You have your little home for your baby animal. It's going to be perfect. And I just can't wait to show you what I have, guys. All right, guys. So we have a little baby right here. You can hear it crying. Now, this is the moment you all have been waiting for, guys. Today, I rescued a five-day-old baby pig, guys. This guy is super, super hungry and just wants a bottle. But look how tiny he is. So I'm going to feed him right now. And we're just going to see how it goes, guys. This is the first feeding with this little baby. It's so hungry. Oh, oh it's okay. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. So, guys, I'm not hurting it. It's just going a little crazy because I don't know when the last time it ate. Oh, guys, that is the cutest thing ever. Now, guys, I am not putting pressure on it. I am just holding it in place so the bottle doesn't slip out of its mouth. But, guys... I want you to stop what you're doing right now and comment below a name for this little baby. He is a boy. Whoa, whoa. Now, guys, if you just take a look at its head, you're going to see the mange all over its head like I was talking about. Now, I'm going to get a little better angle later on once I give it a bath. But you guys can just see this baby is completely infested with mange. You can see on this side of its face right here that it has a little black spot, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but this baby is so pitiful. He is so hungry. I got you, little guy. I got you. Just look how adorable, guys. He is so little. I, I I don't even know what to think. Oh my goodness. Guys, if you look right here, this baby is having a little difficulty sucking the nipple. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to put an O around its mouth just like this. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. And you're just going to want to, you know, do a sucking motion like I'm doing right here. Now, it's going to be very, very gentle, but this mimics him sucking the nipple and it's actually going to motivate him to start sucking the nipple little buddy you're doing so good you can see that he might be done are you done do you not want no more milk guys look at this little baby's milk mustache now you can't tell me anything that is cuter than this this baby is absolutely adorable guys now i'm gonna raise him until he gets you know on his feet and is better and maybe maybe i'll keep him for my own because he is just absolutely adorable hi you're so cute you're so sweet all right guys so this little baby pig ate a little over one ounce of for me, you can see that he's nudging me right here. He might be looking for the nipple, guys. Um, I've never really raised a pig, so if you know why he's nudging me, guys, comment down below because I'm just a little confused why he's doing it. He might just trying to be interacting with me and trying to play with me. Buddy, you're trying to play with me? Hi. He is just absolutely adorable, guys. He loves his little scratches. 
and he is just a lot calmer because definitely he got full off of the yummy yummy milk but guys what i'm gonna do now is now that i have the baby soap and i have the cream for the maid you guys can see it kind of leads down his back right here now we want that to be completely healed so we are going to give this cute little baby a bath so guys we have everything set up right here we got our little baby soap right there and i am just testing the water and making sure it's not too hot little baby you don't have to shake like that now he is a little scared because you know i am a new person but we are not going to hurt him and it's okay i'm not going to hurt you i'm just going to place him under the water and gently put the water all over him. Oh, that's not so bad, is that? It's okay, it's okay. Shh. They make it a little colder. It's not too hot. Oh, that's so, so nice. So guys, now that he calms down a little bit more, I'm just gonna apply the soap all over this little guy and get him wet. It's okay, buddy, you're just gonna scrub him. You gotta get a little bath, you're so dirty. Oh, I know you don't like it. But you're gonna smell so good after. And you're gonna be so clean. Oh, baby. So I don't know the conditions of this baby. It may be sick, it may not be sick. So we are gonna quarantine it from the other animals. We don't want the other animals getting sick. But we are just gonna take the best care of this little guy, make sure he grows happy and healthy. So guys, if you take a look at this cute little baby, you're gonna see that he is shivering, he is very cold. So after I put the mage cream all over his head and wherever it is affected, I am gonna warm this little baby up because at this age, they cannot regulate their body temperature. So we're gonna need to get his body temperature up. So. Before I do that, I'm gonna take this cream and it comes in like a cream form. I mean, there's all different types of solutions that you can treat mange with. You could go to you know, your local pet store if they do have it, or you can actually go to your vet to get it. But all I'm gonna do is take a little bit. Oh yeah, you curious now? It's okay, buddy, I don't do nothing. I'm so nice to you, I give you care. And we are just gonna put it all over his head just like this and rub it in and make sure it really gets in there because we do not want this mange coming back guys this little guy is literally infested i feel so bad bubba where were you before this i feel so bad i'm gonna take care of you okay so guys, now that this little baby little piglet is nice and full with all the little milk and we gave it a bath and we treated the mange, I'm gonna leave this little guy in here, give him some little scratches, give him some pets and kisses, and I'm gonna put him to bed because these guys need a lot of sleep because they are very tiny. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below. Guys, what you would do if you rescued a little piglet, guys. And if you want to see more animal videos with this cute little baby, then subscribe to the first link down below.